Hello, I am Martin Jacquier from the Autonomous Robot Lab in NTNU in Norway, and I'm going to present our work on nonlinear MPC for collision avoidance with an aerial robot exploiting depth images. This work contributes a local navigation controller as an additional resilience layer for navigating a known environment. Indeed, map-based navigation is prone to failure as it is subject to noise, drift, or inconsistency. It also often relies on low-frequency sensors, such as LiDARs, and induces delay. Therefore, we propose a local navigation block for redundancy, which directly takes as input the exteroceptive sensor data and produces some navigation comments. This local navigation controller leverages deep learning for processing the exteroceptive sensing data and extracting relevant features. We want to achieve local navigation without relying on any global environment knowledge. As you can see in the scenario snapshot on the right, the nominal policy, depicted as the purple arrow, would send the drone into a collision with an obstacle. But this obstacle is visible from the depth camera, therefore the policy generates an avoidance maneuver. The concept of our method is to use a neural network as a 3D collision classifier, which can be queried to uh, label any 3D position as either free or in collision, with given an input depth image. Once trained, this network represents a parametric function that assigns an occupancy score between 0 and 1 to any 3D position. This function is fully differentiable, therefore it can be used as an explicit free space constraint inside a model predictive controller. However, instead of using directly the high dimension input depth image as an input to our system, we first proceed to an encoding into a low dimensional latent representation through a convolutional neural network. For this encoding, we make use of previous work which encoded not only the pixel-wise depth information of the depth image, but also the robot own geometry. This results in reconstructing images inflated by the size of the robot. We make use of the same depth to collision mapping to efficiently encode all of the available free space given a depth image. This is of importance since the model predictive control we consider the drone to be a point mass. We note that in our case the network is not trained for self-reconstruction like an auto-encoder but is rather jointly trained with the collision classifier. The neural network is trained on simulated data on a dataset collecting 250k images. The training is fully supervised and is done in a sampling-based fashion. At each epoch, a given number of points are sampled within the frustrum of the camera for each depth image and a gun truth label is computing using an algorithmic procedure. The training loss function is defined as a weighted sum of two terms. First, a binary cross-entropy loss is computed between the output of the network and the gun truth label in order to achieve regression. The second term is a callback labeler divergence regularization loss computed on the latent output of the variational encoder. The binary cross entropy term is weighted such that collision samples are given more importance in the training in order to reduce the amount of false negatives. Indeed, a false negative is a position which was classified as safe while it was in collision. Minimizing the recall of the classifier is a way to make the system more conservative but minimizes the likelihood of unpredicted collisions. We statistically evaluate the learned classifier performances on simulated test data. We show that the recall indeed tends to 1 at the cost of a reduced precision. The classifier maintains a good average accuracy. I will now present the model predictive control that we use. The system is limited to evolve within the camera frustrum at the time of the last captured image since it contains all the available information of the environment. We include this constraint in the system motion equation by defining the dynamics as an unknown holonomic 3D unicycle, which is limited to go with a forward velocity and prevented from rolling, but only pitching and yawing. The system state is thus defined as the position, orientation as a quaternion, and frontward velocity. Accordingly, the system input are the frontward acceleration and the two non-zero angular rates. We define the kinematics and dynamics equations accordingly. We can now define our optimal control problem. We use the MPC for velocity tracking as we want to be agnostic of the global positioning. The reference velocity comes from a high-level planner, which is not aware of the environment or potential collisions. We include the aforementioned parametric classifier function as an explicit free space constraint that all predicted positions throughout the receding horizon will have to satisfy. We also include the same quantity in the objective cost function 
in order to guide optimization toward feasibility. The resulting NLP is solved with a real-time iteration scheme in about 3 milliseconds on an NVIDIA Orin NX. We note that since the neural network is included inside the Cassady computational graph, it has to run on CPU. Therefore, this limits the neural network architecture as it has to retain a relatively small number of parameters. The largest part of the network, which is the convolutional encoder, can run on GPU. We now present some simulation in Gazebo of our framework. The drone navigates an unknown corridor filled with pillars, relying only on onboard sensing, as you can see in the bottom right. The drone is tasked to reach a waypoint located 20 meters in front of its starting location, with a navigation speed of 2.5 meters per second. We conclude this presentation by showing some hardware experiments in the same setup as the simulation, that is, a drone navigating a corridor filled with unknown obstacles. The systematic errors in the true stereo system, represented as the black pixels in the top right images, are compensated with a pre-processing using a depth filling algorithm. We successfully control the robot in real time to reach the desired location. We have also statistically evaluated the performances of the classifier on these pre-processed images, and it shows results similar to compared to the simulated ones. In this work, we achieved mapless navigation exploiting onboard depth sensing only. The neural network was successfully integrating into an NMPC scheme for real-time control for cohesion avoidance. Thank you for your attention.